Right, Lydia, come on, we need to go and go hunting for this troll hunter. We're going troll hunter hunting. I swear there's something out there, in the dark. Yeah, that'd be the wildlife. Lydia, you better not be yawning, because you've had plenty of sleep. Mind yourself. Blimey. There's a vicious bear on the loose. Yes. There probably is. Um, I'm looking for you. You there. Hold fast. I've tracked this damned bear for two weeks. I'll not let it have any more people. I've come to fetch you because the Dawn Guard, Isran, at the Dawn Guard, needs your help. Isran needing someone else's help. Never thought I'd hear that. I'm afraid he's a few years too late. I've moved on. I have more important business to attend to. Well, Besides, he can handle anything alone. He assured me so himself. What could he possibly need my help with? Vampires? Vampires? That... well, that might change things. Tell me more about what's going on. Well, we're not... well, I'm, I'm certainly not entirely sure, but there was this vampire, and there's a castle, and then there's lots of vampires, and then there's this Elder Scroll. By the eight. All right, look. I'll consider it. I can't just leave this bear to prey on more innocent people. Once it's dealt with, then perhaps I'll see what Isran expects of me. Then find a bear. Lydia, I reckon it's in this cave. Come on. be one of them. Don't know how well I'd have managed by myself. You have my thanks. You've helped me, so I suppose the least I can do is find out what Isran wants. He's still at that fort near Stendar's beacon, I assume. Yep, that's the one. He said Fort Dawnguard. Of course he did. He's been working on that place for years now. Never lets anyone in. His own little fortress. Well, I guess I'll get to see what he's been up to all this time. I'll meet you there. Right, Lydia. That's half the job. And now we've got to do the other half, which is finding the other person. seen a sack full of dwarven gyros lying around, have you? I can mm. swear I left it right here. Mm. Do you think mud crabs might have taken it? I saw one the other day. Wouldn't be surprised if it followed me here. Well, just look around, will you? Okay. You think a mud crab is following you to steal your bits and pieces. Okay, anyway, um, Isran um, asked me to come and get you. Isran? Wants me? No, you must be mistaken. He made it exceedingly clear the last time we spoke that he had no interest in my help. I find it hard to believe he's changed his mind. He said some very hurtful things to me before I left. Anyway, I'm quite happy in my current pursuits. So if you'll excuse me, look, what is it you want from me? Well... Vampires threaten all of Skyrim, and we need your help. Isran says that we need your help. Vampires? Really? Oh, and I suppose now he remembers that I proposed no less than three different scenarios that involved vampires overrunning the population. Mm -hmm. Well, what are they up to? If it makes a difference, they have got an Elder Scroll. I... well... That's actually something I never would have anticipated. Interesting. I'm not sure what they would do with that. In this case, Isran is probably correct in thinking it isn't good. 
All right. If nothing else, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to learn more about what's going on so I can better defend myself. But I'm not just going to abandon what I've been working on here. It's too useful. I need at least one intact dwarven gyro. So either I need to find the satchel those mud crabs stole, or I need another gyro from someplace. You wouldn't happen to have one, would you? Um, no, but there's no... We do need to get moving. I'm sorry, but I'm not about to do that with at least a single gyro to show for my efforts. Lydia, the mad woman thinks the mud crabs might have stolen her satchel. So just in case she's right, I'm going to have a look for it. Did you hear that? What the hell are you? Oh, there you are. We're looking, we're looking for a satchel, a bag. Oh, there's a mud crab. So, bag. Found it. Oh, only she wasn't quite... Lydia. Lydia. Wait. Lydia. Maybe she wasn't quite as mad as we thought, because there's a satchel. A single gyro would be enough, I think. Yeah, I've got one. Believe me, this is useful stuff. It's not much, but this will help a great deal with some things I've been researching. Now, where is it Ethron expects me to go? Um, Fort Dorgard? Do you know where that is? Ah, been working more on his secret hideout, has he? It'll be interesting to see how much progress he's made. I'll finish up here and head in that direction as soon as I can. See you there. Farewell. So now we have successfully completed a job for the Dorgard, so... We should be in their good books. What's this? Oh, empty. So we better get back there and see if they've got any more jobs for us. Right, Lydia, Lydia. We should be well in Itron's good books now, so he should be able to give us a really good job to do. So come on. Remember, remember, look, look, look reliable and dependable and all that. Ooh, looks like, looks like he was serious when he said that he was going to up the defences a bit. Come on, Lydia, I need to close the gate. You'd have thought they would have cleared, off, cleared the bodies, wouldn't you? That's really untidy. Trip hazard. Now, remember, look, look professional. Okay, so we've only got 50% success rate at the moment, but, but, it's infinitely better than it was before. Of course, technically speaking, Lydia, we did succeed in finding out what the vampires were after. So, if you're going to be pedantic, that one was a success. So, I reckon we've got a 100% success rate so far. I'm sticking with that. All right, Isran. You've got us all here. Now, what do you want? Hold it right there. What are you doing? Making sure you're not vampires. Can't be too careful. So welcome to Fort Dawnguard. I'm sure you've heard a bit of what we're up against. Powerful vampires, unlike anything we've seen before. And they have an Elder Scroll. If anyone is going to stand in their way, it's going to be us. This is all well and good, but do we actually know anything about what they're doing? What do we do now? We'll get to that. For now, get acquainted with the space. Soreen, you'll find room to start your tinkering on that crossbow design you've been working on. 
Gunmog, there's an area large enough for you to pen up some trolls. Get them armored up and ready for use. In the meantime, we're going to get to the bottom of why a vampire showed up here looking for you. Let's go have a little chat with you, shall we? What do you think all that's about? Right, let's go and find Israel and ask him what he's talking about. Israel, what were you talking about? Oh, God, not Serana. This vampire showed up while you were away. I'm guessing it's the one you found in Dimhalo Crypt. Says it's got something really important to say to you. So let's hear it. You probably weren't expecting to see me again. Yeah, not kidding. So what are you doing here, and how on earth did you know where to come? I'd rather not be here either, but I needed to talk to you. It's important, so please just listen, before your friend here loses his patience. It's... Well, it's about me, and the Elder Scroll that was buried with me. That'd be that one. So what about the scroll? The reason I had it, and why I was down there. It all comes back to my father. I'm guessing you've figured this part out already, but my father's not exactly a good person. Oh, even really? by vampire standards. He wasn't always like that, though. There was... a turn. He stumbled onto this obscure prophecy and just kind of lost himself in it. A prophecy? It's pointless and vague, like all prophecies. The part he latched onto said that vampires would no longer need to fear the sun. That's what he's after. He wants to control the sun. Have vampires control the world. Anyway, my mother and I didn't feel like inviting a war with all of Tamriel. So we tried to stop him. That's why I was sealed away with a scroll. Okay. It sounds a bit nutty. So, why the Dawn Guard? I'm sorry. I had heard there were vampire hunters here. I thought they might want to know about a vampire plot to enslave the rest of the world. Was yeah, I enough. wrong? No, you're right. But... We're going to have a bit of a problem. We're going to have a bit of a problem because you are a vampire. And we're vampire hunters. And it's going to be a bit difficult to convince them that you're on our side. Because even I'm not completely and totally convinced. Well, let's move then. I'm nothing if not persuasive. Okay, Israel. Um, I'm 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 the recruit, and you're the seasoned officer. Like you got you got scar and everything. What do you think? All right, you've heard what it has to say. Now tell me, is there any reason I shouldn't kill this blood-sucking fiend right now? Well, if what she's saying is true, if any part of that is true, then we might have to look. At something a bit more than just killing vampires. Set my hatred aside. Not a chance. It's what keeps me strong. You don't trust her? Well, neither do I, so that's fine. Because I don't trust her, and you don't trust her. You can trust me. I think I might actually believe her. You better know what you're doing. It can stay for now. But if it so much as lays a finger on anyone here, I'll hold you responsible. Got it. You hear me? Don't feel like a guest, because you're not. You're a resource. You're an asset. In the meantime, don't make me regret my sudden outburst of tolerance and generosity. Because if you do, your friend here is going to pay for it. Thank you for your kindness. I'll remember it the next time I'm feeling hungry. So, in case you didn't notice the giant thing on my back, I have the Elder Scroll with me. Whatever it says, it will have something that can help us stop my father. But, of course, neither of us can read it. You can't read it. Okay, so who can? Well, the Moth Priests are the only ones I've heard of who can do it. 
They spend years preparing before they start reading, though. Not that it helps us anyway, because they're all half a continent away, in Cyrodiil. Some Imperial scholar arrived in Skyrim a few days ago. I was staking out the road when I saw him pass by. Maybe that's your moth priest. Do you know where he's staying now? No, and I'm not going to waste men looking. We're fighting a war against your kind, and I intend to win it. You want to find him? Try talking to anyone who'd meet a traveler. If you want to come along, it has to just be me and you. Come on in, Lydia. Can you believe that that Serana wanted me to ditch you and go and loca locate this moth creek? Well, we are a team. <sighs> Hello. Hello, Need excuse me. Uh, we're looking for someone. We're actually looking for a moth priest. I don't suppose you'd seen him, give him the ride or anything like that. It's one of them Imperial scholars, right? Mm. Old man with a grey robe. That's the one. That's right. It might be that I have. I can't say for sure. I got enough troubles on my mind just trying to scrape by. You'd like that dragon? Um, have some gold. Oh, yes. I remember your mom priest now. He wanted me to take him out to Dragonbridge, but I told him it ain't one of my stops. Dragon Bridge. Okay, might well, have to sort out a dragon. Thank you, thank you very much. Until next time. Yeah, I was trying to tell you. Somebody help! I want to do something. Yeah, that would be me. seen such a thing. He's just said that. Something's happening. Now, if Serana was here, she would have come and interrupted that moment. Right, we need to head for Dragonbridge, which is that way on the other side of Skyrim. Should we get a lift on the carriage part of the way? Need a ride? I can take you to any of the hold capitals. Yep, we would like to hire your carriage, please. Where do you want to go? If we go to Solitude, that's not too far from Dragonbridge, so we'll go there. Thank you. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Lovely. Come on, Lydia, we got a ride up to Solitude, and we can go to Dragonbridge from there. We didn't need that Serana. We're doing perfectly well. And she's noisy and whiny. At least all you do is mostly just yawn every now and again. Right. Lydia. Do you know something I didn't actually think to ask? I have no idea what a moth priest looks like. No. Oh. I'll have to just ask at the inn or something. wonder if he goes. Seen some mean-spirited folk pass through lately. Thought I was rid of those sorts when I left Markarth. Well, instead of a mean-spirited person, how about a more religious-y type of person? Like a moth priest? Do you know anything about a moth priest here? A moth priest? Yeah. I'm sorry, but I don't know anything about that. Try asking one of the guards. Okay. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Until next time. Right, there's a guard. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. What business do college mages have in a place like Sarthal anyway? They say Ulfric Stormcloak murdered the High King with his voice. Yeah, Shouted heard... him apart. Yeah, I've heard that as well. 
Um, do you? Kn I'm actually looking for someone. Do you know anything about a moth priest who is supposed to be here, supposed to be here visiting? Ah, so that was a moth priest then. He rode through town not long ago with an escort of soldiers. They didn't stop, just headed south across the Dragon Bridge. South. Thanks, mate. Thanks. All right then. Thank you. Well, Lydia, the good news, good news, is he was here. The bad news is he's left. But the good news is it's going this way, south. Uh oh. Bloody vampire. New orders for you. Prepare an ambush just south of the Dragon Bridge. Take the moth priest to Forebear's holdout for safekeeping until I can break his will. Right. Lydia. Um. Right, Lydia. According to the note, they have got our moth, our moth priest. We're going to have to rescue him. We are going to have to find where on earth they have taken him. And he's bleeding. Well, he's either bleeding or. Or one, oh, over there. Or one of the vampires is a very messy eater. Do you know what? They, they left a trail. Easy enough for us to follow. Watch out, vampires. But, 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 we are vampire killers. Because we our dawn guard. Right. Come on. Lydia. Come on, let's go and rescue the priest. We've got to get him out of there. Now he's got a little rock on him called a, that's some sort of waystone focus that looks a bit like those rocks in the, there. Should we try putting it in here? Are you? Are you all right now? Uh, I'm quite all right, thanks to you. Dexian Evicus is my name. I'm a moth priest of the White Gold Tower. These vampires claim they had some purpose in store for me, but they wouldn't say what. Probably hoping to ransom me, the fools. I know they needed you, because uh, we need you for the same thing. You do? All yeah. right then, enough mysteries. Well, we're the Dawn Guard. And we hunt and kill vampires, which I think you'll agree, they're not very nice people, so creatures, not really even people. Um, so, so we're the good guys, because we hunt the bad guys. And we need your help to read an Elder Scroll. You have an Elder Scroll? Remarkable. If my knowledge of history serves me, I recall that the Dawn Guard was an ancient order of vampire hunters. 
Don't you I would be happy to assist you with your Elder Scroll. Just tell me where I need to go. Um, yes. You need to look for Fawn Fort Dongard, and that's near Stendhal's Beacon. On the other side of Skyrim. Very well. I'll hurry on my way there before more of those vampires turn up. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Lydia? Lydia? I forgot to ask him what a moth priest was. And what sort of religion moths have. Excuse me, excuse you me. You arrived just in time. I yeah. think those vampires were getting hungry. Yeah, there was, a, there was a, there's a question I really, really want to ask. And I forgot to ask you, which is why I ran after you. Um, because Lydia really wants to know what moth priests do exactly. It is our sacred duty to study the Elder Scrolls. We read these ancient scrolls of prophecy in order to divine the future, and we use that knowledge to aid the Emperor. Sometimes, we venture out into the world in search of more scrolls for our library at the White Gold Tower. That is the very purpose that first brought me to Skyrim. The White Gold Tower? It is the great spire at the heart of the Imperial City, among the tallest towers in all of Tamriel. The lower floors are home to the Imperial Council, and the Order of Moth Priests occupies the middle floors. The tower suffered damage in the recent war with the Altmeri Dominion, and is not what it once was. I hope one day to see it restored to its former glory. So, you're experts on the Elder Scrolls, so often mythical after all. So, what do you know about them? Not as much as I would like. Even after spending decades of my life in study of the Elder Scrolls, they remain a great mystery to me. It's true for most of my brothers in the Order as well. We don't really know where the scrolls came from or who wrote them. What we do know is that some are born with the special gift to read the Elder Scrolls. These chosen few can divine events of the past and future within the scrolls, though in time it drives us to blindness. I'm afraid there's not much more to tell. Even today, the Elder Scrolls remain a great enigma. The, I thought they were completely mythical, so... I know more now. Thank you. If I'd known Skyrim was so dangerous, I'd have brought more guards. Yeah, that would have been a good idea. Why aren't you asking us to accompany you? Because you haven't got any guards left. I owe left. you a debt for the timely rescue. True, but why aren't you asking us to guard you on your way? Because all your guards are dead. Well, he's, a, he's a moth piece. Maybe, maybe, maybe he'll fly? I know, silly idea. <laughs> Thank the divines for you. Well, I suppose it's sunny, so he's not in too much danger from vampires. Look. If you go up the road to solitude, you can get a, um, a carriage. Do you, have, do you have enough gold to do that? I can always lend you a bit if you've got enough gold, okay. Right, solitudes, solitudes that way to get a carriage. Right now. I reckon, successful rescue, we are going to be heroes. Yeah? Yes. There are some, there are some butterf butterflies here. They're like day moths. They good, any good for you? We should be heroes and, and, Shows that Serana summit, doesn't it? She thought that she had to come. No. Pandora and Lydia team. Come on, Lydia. We're heroes. Let's go in. <laughs>